Okay, so, uh, 90 day rule, which I will, um, hello, Mr. Policeman. I will make a better video in the future, but I can send this one for now. Uh, here's why you don't ever, 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 uh, male or female want to have sex within 90 days. I'm going to tell you why that is. Um, uh, it's the 90 days is not a magic number. Um, I am a Baptist pastor. Would I love for you to uh, not have sex at all before marriage? Certainly. Um, do I think that's actually going to happen with like 80% of couples or people? No. So let's stick to the 90 day rule and I'm going to tell you why it works and the science behind it. So um, here's the thing. Uh, having sex stimulates oxytocin. Oxytocin is a bonding agent. It's, uh, it overwhelmingly floods uh, uh, women's bodies in the entire room when a woman has a baby. That's why uh, men will say, uh, not men, women will say, you don't understand the bond between a mother and child is different than anything else. And, and it's true. Because there is um, a chemical bond between that mother and that child, um, that is different than anybody else on the planet. And especially if that's uh, then taken um, uh, and, and, you know, they bring the baby and, and put it on the mother. There's sometimes they snatch the baby away and take it away in different uh, uh, places and cultures. And, and then it can be not near as strong, but it's still very strong. So scientifically, oxytocin is a high, it's a bonding agent between people. Um, now, when you have sex, you stimulate oxytocin. Um, funny thing. Uh, women who get a big surge of oxytocin um, uh, suddenly get just wired for sound. They're in a fantastic move, mood and they're wired. And men, uh, an overwhelming amount of oxytocin just um, puts us to sleep. So that answers a lot of questions for you. But in all sincerity, um, so it's a bonding agent. And so you end up bonding with that person. And there's a reason God said let what... Uh, what God has put together, let no man put asunder. Uh, it is a bonding agent. It's an emotional superglue, if you will. So um, the reason I say there's no magic to 90 days, but within 90 days, more than likely, one of one of the two or both of you, hopefully both, well, not hopefully, both of you will have a life-changing experience. Maybe losing a job, getting a new job, uh, losing a family member, um, you know, something that is dramatic and life-changing. Uh, and it doesn't always happen, certainly within 180 days, not always within 90 days, but um, uh, something will happen. And the thing is, is even as honest as you want to be, you are still in the salesman fa phase when you are, uh, I hate driving behind stupid people, uh, <laughs> while you are dating. So you're still trying to sell each other and put forth your best foot, or your best effort. When... Uh, you know, the chips are down, uh, the doo-doo hits the fan, or whatever you want to say, um, that is when, when people are under a high-stress situation, that is when you get to see the real other person, and you get to see how they deal with uh, stress and deal with uh, tensions. And the thing is, if you have had sex before that point, you end up glossing over it. It's it's almost like you're trying to make, it, it's not almost like, it is like you're trying to make a good judgment call on drugs. Now, when you're married, this is great because you can gloss over little idiosyncrasies that, that would normally drive you nuts and do end up driving you nuts, but you gloss over you're like, well, that's okay. Um, that's great when you're married, when you're dating, you are supposed to be on your game looking to see if that is a person you want to spend the rest of your life with, not just, oh, this is a nice person for companionship and it sure would be fun to, you know, bump up, bunk buglies together. Uh, I'm sorry, that was, uh, repeating it made it sound really stupid. But um, uh, that's, that's one of the main reasons for that is because you get to see how somebody deals, how they deal with stress. Also at that time, Watch how they treat their mom. Watch how they treat their family. Watch how head northeast uh, towards South Broad Street. Waiters and waitresses, uh, and other people. And you can, you can. The thing is, if you try to do that after you've had sex, you have seriously, you have a a different mindset, and you gloss over things that you should be looking for when you're looking for a mate. This is Mark Lowe, and I need some coffee.